Hi guys, welcome to Man United Gun. Now in this video, today I want us to discuss something very important and we are going to discuss about Donny van de Beek. So what do you think about Donny van de Beek? Remember reports have come out saying that uh, Donny van de Beek is likely to look for a move elsewhere. But um, two legends have come out and advised Donny van de Beek to stay at Manchester United and fight for, uh, for midfield position. So I think these legends are right. So one of the legends is uh, Ajax uh, director of football Mark Overmas and uh, also uh, uh, CEO for Ajax Van de Sar. So they have come out and advised Donny van de Beek to keep fighting for a midfield position at Manchester United. And I think uh, Van de Sar and Overmars are advancing Donny van de Beek in the right way. To me, I think Donny van de Beek should stay at Manchester United and fight for a position in the midfield. Remember, currently we have the midfielders who are playing for Manchester United. I can look at the example of uh, Fred and McTominay. They also had to wait uh, for some years or uh, they had to wait longer in order for them to play. And you can see right now they have improved their game and they are now playing regularly for Manchester United. So I think the same should also happen to Donny van de Beek. Donny van de Beek uh, starting to look for a move right now is too soon. Too soon for Donny van de Beek to start looking to play elsewhere because I'm very sure, okay, Sosja is not playing him at the moment, but uh, I believe that uh, come next season, Donny van de Beek will start getting more game time. And uh, of course, we have talked about this and we have said that uh, Donny van de Beek cannot uh, show his uh, capabilities if he does not get game time. Donny van de Beek needs to get a run of games so that uh, you can see what Donny van de Beek can do. Remember we are talking about a player who took Ajax to semi-finals uh, in the Champions League that was in 2019. And if you can remember, that Ajax team was sensational and most of them were bought and got different moves to different clubs. So Donny van de Beek was one of them. Remember that, that time Donny van de Beek was only 23 years old. And you could see very clearly that there is a player inside Donny van de Beek. Donny van de Beek could, could uh, dictate that midfield for Ajax and that player was so sensational. And that is what triggered Manchester United to go ahead and buy Donny van de Beek. So Donny van de Beek was purchased for 35 million pounds. And uh, that was uh, in September last year. And uh, this man came to Old Trafford and Manchester United fans had hopes in Donny van de Beek. They really had hopes in Donny van de Beek. They knew that now we have gotten that person who can come in and do a good job in the midfield. But uh, little did we know that uh, he was not going to play. And uh, even at some point, fans wondered if Donny van de Beek was Ole signing or Ed Woodward signing. So did you know that uh, since Donny van de Beek joined Manchester United, he has only started 12 games. And uh, that means uh, the 12 games are in all competitions. And that means that uh, in the Premier League, he has only started two games. So you can see that uh, that tells you very clearly that Donny van de Beek has not been given enough time to express what he can do. But uh, you can see, whenever he gets a chance and comes into the team and plays, you can see that Donny van de Beek is a good player. Remember, he plays a one-touch pass and move game. And that is a very good game, especially when it comes to unlocking the defense. So Van de Sar was asked about the situation of Donny van de Beek at Manchester United and he acknowledged that uh, he is very sorry for Donny van de Beek for not getting enough time to play at Manchester United. And that is true. 
because he said that Adonis van der Beek was really really good and he was going towards the right direction while he was at Ajax but right now he cannot play because Manchester United's midfield is congested and players uh, are playing very very well and now it has been very difficult for Donny van de Beek to get into the team but I'm very sure Donny van de Beek will start getting time and at one point he will become successful at Manchester United and he will be a regular starter so let me know what you think about Donny van de Beek do you think Donny van de Beek should move this soon to look for a club and play elsewhere or Donny van de Beek should stay and fight to me I think he should stay and fight for that position in the midfield. That also happened to Fred and McTominay. They also fought for those uh, for those places in the midfield, and you can see they are now regular starters. If not regular starters, they at least play every game, and that is what I want to see from Donny van der Beek. So, please, you can comment and tell me what you think about this whole story. But I think the two uh, legends. Are very right. Donny van der Beek should stay at Manchester United and fight for a position in the midfield. So I hope you now understand why I was saying Donny van der Beek was advised to fight for a position in the midfield. I also hope you have enjoyed the video. So I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to support the channel. You can only support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and also sharing the video and, and most of all don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that if any content comes out you are the first person to view that content so until next time bye bye